following her too much. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach, and I guess they lived in Palm Beach. Yeah. Uh, but I wish her well. Okay. Whatever it well, is, uh, I don't know the situation. It didn't let me go live, so, so I'm going to have to do it this it. way. Uh, on unemployment insurance, how yeah. much below anyway, $600 uh, are you willing to go? Shrink it and go over here. Now, this is probably going to get... Maybe I should make this go large, too. It is kind of large. Full screen large. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's too big. There we go. Alright, I'm going to read it, but... Hold on. Alright. It's from a old family friend. Joe Cool, I don't know if he wants his name out there, but it's out there. Sorry, buddy. Um, this says, the cat is out of the bag. The CDC, the WHO, and all who so-called experts lie to you. Here's the list. Everyone in the entire country needs to read this and absorb it. Those still asleep better wake up because the this sham dress rehearsal would certainly be the last chance. Those choosing to remain in denial, giving the finger to reality, you're on your own. The CDC admitted they screwed up on the COVID infection counts. You know what? I'm just going to back up a little bit. No, that's not going to work. That's a lot of reading, but okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> the CDC admits they screwed up on the infection counts and intentionally misled the public and have apologized. Clarifying that the amount of people truly infected is much lower than that was originally reported. An error so... Whatever, uh, it, I don't even know how to pronounce that word. It made it. Director of Harder, Harvard Global Health Institute say, how did the CD make this mistake? This is a mess. The American Coronavirus Task Force also admitted to fudging the national COVID death count. And they're still doing that daily. When Dr. Burke said the deaths are... People who died with COVID, not from COVID, this, thus making the real death count lower than what currently being reported. Dr. Anthony Fauci admits masks won't help against the virus and the mask manufacturers now include warnings on their products do not detour COVID-19. Dr. Fauci also said that the continuing to close the country could cause irreparable damage. CDC backtracked their initial claim that led to governors to shut down their states and clar clarified that COVID-19 does not spread easily on surfaces. Governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, confirmed a recent health study showing that 70% of the new infections actually originated at home, thus making staying home orders the most dangerous mandates currently in place. Trump stopped funding to WHO and threatened to cut off money permanently until they can prove they are no longer corrupt, influenced by communist China after they lied to our country about human-to-human -human transmission of COVID-19 in January. The curve is flattened and the CDC and, and the WHO and Dr. Fauci and our governors and many more were completely wrong about the potential threat 
of this virus. Even California open. Let me move that. Even California opening sooner than everyone expected because the evidence contradicts the long-standing and inaccurate narrative still held by extremely dishonest and corrupt media. Ain't that the truth? If you are still living in fear, don't be, don't, ah. Here we go. Okay. If you are still living in fear, don't be. The media, global organiz organizations, and the government and its agencies misled, misled the public. People called those of us who knew this all along a conspira conspiracy theorist, theorist. But it turns out that we were just following the facts. Open up your businesses, churches, homes. Don't fall for the lies any longer. I mean, I've been saying that. If you tell, if you fell for the lies this time, wake up and join the army of truth seekers fighting in, on the front lines. Who have just admitted the transmission of the virus from and, and oh, I don't know whatever that word is. Uh, yeah, wait, I can't even find it now. Oh yeah, asymptomatic carriers. Okay, I got it. <laughs> um, the whole reason for the lockdown is rare. I.e., you could not spend it before showing any symptoms. <laughs> okay. The CDC just confirmed that 0.4 to 0.26% death rate for COVID. The death rate for the flu is 0.6, twice as high as COVID. For that, we have. For that, we have. Now we get to the list. We added nearly $6 trillion to the national debt. Laid off or for furloughed 50 million workers placed 60 million on food stamps gone from 3.5 percent which that hasn't been seen in so long to 14.7 percent unemployment crippled the petroleum industry ruined the tourism industry bankrupted service industry caused an impending meat and protein crisis threatened and fined and arrested church leaders Exervated mental health problems, shut down schools and colleges, given unbridled power to unelected officials, isn't that the truth? Increase suicides higher than COVID death rates, delay surgeries and treatments and profound illnesses, place 300 million Americans on house arrest. Bill Gates has placed himself as in such a position of the influence by heavily funding all the corners make this lie happen. Anyway, yeah, Bill Gates. We need to start threatening or, or treating this as it as it is a lie. The lie that it is. Let me move that up a little bit. There we go. It's a lie. Where was I? The lie. You need to start. Where is it? <laughs> oh yeah, we're down here. We need to start treating the, this as a lie that it is. Seriously, our whole way of life is at stake. America, this is the year America died, literally. And it's our fault because we let it happen. And, okay, that was my ad input. Anyway, and they have plans to make it much worse now. Introduce... In, yeah, introducing as it the great the grand reset. Now this new normal. See, that's the whole thing. They're they're conditioning. You know, that's what that new normal. Anyway, the beginning of the fourth revolution, i.e., i.e. surveillance state of control, where everyone lives in what is essential. Strike str strike open air. Huh open air 
prison where we are tracked nothing is private and everything is decided for you and you have no rights whatsoever and there can be no resistance uh, welcome to their new world order don't forget we can imagine and bring out our own future let's so let's together make it much different from their plan for us and get these people in, involved jail fraud terrorism introducing sheer boredom okay <laughs> uh, let's share the riches of this beautiful world and make this beautiful place where everyone can live together in abundance peace harmony harmony and celebration amen wow that's there's a lot of stuff there oh there's more hold on oh let's save more okay anyway eh, there's a lot of good um stuff right there anyway uh, I just had to upload this well I was gonna try to do it live but I guess the uploads gonna have to do but we have been lied to I've been saying that all along <laughs>